Defense We Talk Doc. A documentary about a Vermont dairy farmer turned dog musher is coming to a theater near you. We'll talk with one of the filmmakers about this underdog story, and we'll learn why the filmmakers are partnering with a program that offers farmers and their family members help with issues related to stress. Good afternoon, and thank you for stopping by Across the Fence. I'm Jolie Whitney. Farming comes with many joys and hardships. Those wins and losses are tallied in Underdog, the curiously optimistic tale of Doug Butler. From Mosaic Films and Nice Marmot Films, the story of mutts and mental health and dreams and dreamers, here's the movie's trailer. Okay, the longest time in my life that I left the farm, I think it was five nights. It was September 20th, 1975. be paying every week to two weeks, I don't know how much, to get us caught up. Poor girl. You gotta make a decision online whether you want to sell the place. I go to hell before you get to heaven. Here he is on no and no. Next opportunity. Here we go. With just a change <laughs> Joining me today are Tommy Hyde, the director of Underdog, and Leanne Porter from Farm First, a public not for profit program sponsored by the Vermont Agency of Agriculture and the Vermont Agency of Human Services Invest EAP Centers for Well Being. Thank you both for coming on our program today. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for having us. All right, Tommy, we'll start with you. Can you tell me a little bit about how you met Doug? Yeah, so I, um, back 10 years ago, uh, took a college class um, where we went out into the local community uh, and made a little movie and uh, wrote a little piece about um, a local. And my professor told me about a dairy farmer in the outskirts of town who had a few sled dogs, um, so I went over with my buddy Tito, and uh, turns out he had more than 50 uh, sled dogs. And you know, in that classic Vermont way, um, without even knowing who we were, Doug waved us on with a grin, and we were promptly covered in uh, cow manure. Absolutely. And uh, you know, the class ended. Doug and I stayed friends, uh, and I, um, you know, began the process, a uh, now 10-year process of of making this movie about him. And how long did you work with Doug for the process of this movie? Uh, it was about a decade. You know, the first uh, four years of footage was pretty much all thrown out because I had no idea how to use a <laughs> camera. Um, but it didn't go to waste because, uh, you know, I started to blend into the wallpaper after a certain point. And so a lot of the moments you see in the film, it's very fly on the wall style, uh, you know, just happened because I s had spent so much time there. Um, and in a way, you know, Doug, who I kind of call Professor Butler now <laughs> um, taught me how to uh, to craft a film um, just just out of necessity. Absolutely, and it sounds. I mean, you were following somebody's life. What kind of access did he give you? Pretty much everything. I, he, you know, he once told me that uh, he thought he had scared us off by covering us in cow manure on day one, um, and we went to Agway after that day and asked for some farmer jumpsuits, which I later learned are actually called coveralls. <laughs> Um, and he said on day two when we showed up in coveralls that um, he knew um, that he could, he could trust us. Um, so, you know, 
kudos to Doug. He um, bears his soul in this film, and um, it takes a lot of strength, resilience um, to be able to do that, and we're, we're so lucky to be able to share in that. Absolutely. And Leanne, can you tell me about how Farm First got involved in the underdog story? Sure. Um, Tommy contacted me through our um, mutual connection to Vermont Public, right? And then we yeah. started talking and um, realized that this is such a wonderful way to talk about um, the challenges that farmers face um, and how it impacts their mental health. Um, to have this concrete, real story to connect to is amazing. And of course, Doug's story is about triumph and also tragedy. Can you tell me about some of the services that, that you offer? Sure, we have a continuum of care. We have um, an amazing website with tons of resources. And then we have a resource coordinator that you can just call and she can help you with all types of resources. Our general focus is um, stress reduction and mental health, but she can um, connect farmers to all kinds of things. Um, and then we have a peer network where farmers can call other peers, other farmers and just chat and um, talk to somebody who really gets it, you know. And then we have um, free counseling for short term, problem-focused counseling um, for any farmer or their family members. All right, let's see if I can get the numbers right here. Um, as of 2020, there were 636 um, working dairy farms in Vermont, and now um, at the end of last year, there were only 519. So obviously, financial issues can be a real stressor on people working in farming. Do you provide any financial support? Um, we provide connections to grants and things that we find. We personally don't have the funding to share with farmers, but we connect them to all kinds of resources. Okay, and a lot of volatility, especially when you're looking at things like the milk industry or even just the day-to-day -day of working on a, a farm, there's a lot of stressors. Can you elaborate a little bit more about what you were saying about mental health counseling? Yeah, um, what, um, and I think you said this, Tommy, when you showed the film and everywhere in California, what people wanted to talk about, even though this is such an inspiring, cool story, was about some of the stressors that um, impacted Doug, and they're pretty universal. Um, and so uh, we really want farmers to understand that um, reaching out for support is okay. And um, yeah, the stigma around all of the mental health stuff needs to, you know, we all need to be more aware of what farmers go, f go through and support them. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and for any viewers at home, if you're just joining us, um, we're talking about the challenges of being a dairy farmer and a new documentary about Doug Butler. Um, who I believe it's called um, Underdog, excuse me, help me out with here, The Courageous. The Curiously Optimistic there. Tale of Doug Butler, yeah. Absolutely, thank you. Um, who went from being a dairy farmer to a sled musher. Um, and of course we have Tommy Hyde, who's a filmmaker, and Leanne Porter, who um, works with Farm First for financial and mental help. Um, and the movie is about, um, starts with him like selling his herd of cows, I believe. Um, and so what's the status of his, he had a bunch of dogs, what's the status of that now? Yeah, so um, Doug unfortunately passed away this past fall. Um, it was a great tragedy to all of us on the film and um, certainly to everyone in the Middlebury community. I've never seen a more packed house than um, Doug's celebration of life. Um, he passed away from complications due to ALS um, and uh, Luckily, um, his son um, has been able to step in and um, continue to manage their small herd of beef cattle um, and hang on to the family homestead. Um, and the dogs, you know, Doug was known for his skill with cows, but also his skill with dogs. And so his uh, crop of mutts was well known around the Northeast um, and really around the country. And so uh, mushers from as far as Minnesota um, have come in and adopted um, all of Doug's dogs and the ones that were a little bit uh, later on in their racing careers um, are now, you know, curled up on the couch, <laughs> hopefully watching this right now. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Maybe a, a more relaxed life from exactly, here on out. <laughs> exactly. Um, and obviously you've, we got to see a glimpse of the movie just a couple minutes ago, um, but where is it touring now? You guys are around in, in the area, aren't you? Showing it. Yeah, so we um, are delighted to be partnering um, with Farm First, which, as I've been saying, it's like really a, where the rubber meets the road um, type thing for us documentary filmmakers. It's so hard to um, measure impact um, when you make a film, and, and partnering with an organization like Farm First allows us to really um, raise some awareness for an organization that really has the boots on the ground. Um, and we're partnering with Vermont Public um, to bring the film to uh, theaters across the state. Um, so we're going to be playing in 
Greensboro this week, um, and then later on in Montpelier, uh, in Middlebury, in Brattleboro, and in Burlington. Um, and we just keep getting messages um, wanting the film to be scheduled in other places. So um, if you check out our website, underdogfilm.org, um, there's a little screenings tab, and uh, all the information about where you can catch the film will be on there. And then it'll be out on um, Home Entertainment uh, in, on April 2nd. Great. And Leanne, obviously you work with a lot of farmer mental health, so what does having a movie like this coming out mean to you? Oh, it's fantastic. And we have been invited to sit on um, a conversation panel after the film is premiered in each location. So there'll be a member of Farm First and one of our farmer peers will be there as well to talk about, to answer questions and have um, deeper conversations about the film and the issues that arose. All right, and Tommy, you mentioned earlier, unfortunately, Doug isn't with us anymore, but what would he make of all that's come of the movie now? Oh, wow. Well, we, we did have the distinct pleasure of bringing Doug, who, if you see the film, one of his nicknames is Hollywood Doug, because he's <laughs> always uh, uh, being followed around by yours truly with a camera. <laughs> um, we had the pleasure of premiering the film in Los Angeles this summer and got to bring Doug out there. Um, and he got to see the ocean, um, see the film on Santa Monica Boulevard, and go see the Hollywood sign. And so that was amazing. I mean, he stopped every single person he saw on the street with a dog and chatted them up and invited <laughs> them to the film. He was, you know, the best uh, PR that beer money could buy. <laughs> um, and uh, so he, he was such a champion of this project, and um, uh, he would have loved to be here today, um, hamming it up. So mm -hmm. we are, um, we're just so thankful that uh, his memory and his spirit lives on uh, in the project. So everyone, or more people can, can get to know Doug uh, like mm -hmm. I did. Definitely. Yeah, the website has some funny photos of the trip to California. <laughs> you know, he had never left his farm except his whole life, except for Alaska, or maybe one time. But, yeah, um, ACDC concert in Montreal, Alaska, <laughs> and then, and then Hollywood. It. <laughs> All entire life, yeah. <laughs> and how can somebody reach out to Farm First if they're interested in your resources? Um, our website is a very easy way to connect to any of our services, but you can also call our resource coordinator at the number above. Um, and then for 24-7 support, if you really need to talk to somebody, you can call the number that's 877 Six two one two. I wanted to All make right. sure I got it exactly right. You got it. Right. <laughs> and it's also on our screen for any viewers at home. Oh, great. But thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. And that takes care of another visit across the fence. My thanks to the crew here at WCAX for all their help with today's program. From all of us to you, I'm Jolay Whitney. Have a good one.